Hey guys, before we get rolling here, just want to shout out my other channel that Danielle and I started. We got a couple more videos uploaded since the last time I did a little shout out, and we are working on more. Consider, you know, giving it a subscribe or two. Or one, just mainly the one. Thanks. Three new exotic boots, one for each class dropped with Season of the Splicer. I have collected them all and I'm gonna do a thing that I have not done for quite some time. Actually talk about them within the same season of them dropping. Please, everyone hold your applause until the end of the video. Thank you very much. Today we're starting with Titan mainly because this video is coming out over the weekend. Why does that matter? Well, Trials is active during the weekend, and these boots specifically are all about countering stasis, which is prevalent in Trials and also uh, everywhere. Titans, your boots are the path of the burning steps. Steps? Multiple steps, right? It's not just one step. It's multiple steps. Solar Final Blows periodically grant you an escalating bonus to weapon damage. You are harder to slow or freeze with stasis, and when you break out, you take no damage from doing so, creating a burst of solar energy around yourself. Let's briefly discuss the PvE capabilities of these boots. Firewalker is the name of the buff you get, and it lasts for 10 seconds. It will not proc on every single solar kill that you get. It's more like every two to four kills. Firewalker times one will get you a 20% damage buff. Times two is gonna boost that to 25%, times three to 35, but having four stacks does not boost it any farther. The cap is 35%. As we'll see in the PvP section, the damage scaling is a little wonky. So at worst, you're looking at a Rampage quality buff on your boots for solar weapons, except this buff lasts 10 seconds versus Rampage's 3 seconds. Granted, it does not proc on every single kill, but odds are that you'll likely be killing enough stuff in any given mode that you're in to keep refreshing the stacks. Note that it only boosts your weapon damage, but any solar final blows will refresh the buff. I've been able to stack this buff up from 1 to 4x with a single thermite grenade. The only downside here is that it does not stack with other damage boosting buffs, but that was to be expected. That's kind of how the game works. For example, Sun Warrior procs on solar ability kills and boosts your damage by 20%. With both buffs active, I still deal 20% bonus damage. But... Also as expected, weapon perk based buffs like Kill Clip will stack with Firewalker. Obviously the stasis part of this exotic has very little application in the PvE part of the game. There are only a very few amount of enemies that actually use stasis and I don't really think you'll need to wear this in order to counter stasis in PvE unless you struggle to a degree against PvE stasis that I simply cannot fathom, in which case uh, oh, I'm sorry. But now, we get to the good part. PvP, defends against slows and freezes. PvP, how effective is this exotic at defending against stasis? Well, let's talk about slows first. These boots cut both the duration of slows and the amount of stacks you receive in half. Dusk Field Grenade, you gain stacks half as quickly. Hunter Dinkers, half the stacks, half the duration, regardless of whatever kind of aspects or fragments might be used to increase duration or potency. Not only this, but I would say a rather significant amount of the time, if not all of the time, being hit by any sort of stasis effect will give you a stack of Firewalker if you do not already have one. And, here's a little pro tip until this gets nerfed or fixed or adjusted in some way, you can actually walk in and out of a dusk field grenade and max out your stacks of Firewalker if you want to, giving you that maximum damage boost. Really quickly on that whole damage boost thing though, for some reason, the damage scaling in PvP doesn't exactly flow smoothly. With no stacks, my trusty does 47 damage to the head. With one stack, it's 56. With two, it's 59. With three, it goes back down to 56. 
And then with four, it deals 63. Fortunately, the thing that matters most is that first stack, but I'm, I'm not sure what's up with that. Being frozen, on the other hand, this is where I was let down a bit. When wearing the boots, there is no duration adjustment for how long you are frozen by an effect. Ooh, was really hoping for something here, but alas, no dice. It's not all terrible, though. If you break out of freeze, you don't take any damage. And when you break out, you deal damage based on the amount of Firewalker stacks you have in a relatively small radius around you. And it also has its own range stat. So closer targets will receive more damage. Targets farther away will receive less. Technically speaking, it is possible to one-shot someone with this effect. But you need four stacks of Firewalker. And you need to be right next to your target after you unfreeze. So something that is never really ever going to happen. So why are these getting so much attention? Well, it's because of Igneous Hammer. Igneous Hammer is a solar hand cannon earned from playing Trials. It is a 120 RPM hand cannon, meaning you deal 90 damage to the head. One stack of Firewalker is a 20% damage boost. That means your 90s are going to 108s which means you can two-tap people. And with stasis still being very popular for some reason, that means a lot of potential uptime on this buff, which means a lot of potential two-tapping of other players. So perhaps now you can see why people are so keen on these boots. Now, am I going to wear these all the time in PvP every single game? No. But if the enemy team is five Revenant Hunters, I'm probably going to throw them on. And it's not like these are terrible when there's no stasis in play either. You can still get solar kills to proc Firewalker. But playing against stasis definitely makes this more appealing to use. I suspect we'll be seeing a lot of these boots in PvP as a way to punish stasis users to a degree, and I'm all for it. As for PvE, it's basically just a slightly different Rampage style perk on an exotic armor piece, but it also stacks with damage perks on your gun, you just need to be using a solar weapon. 35% is a pretty considerable chunk of damage considering how much uptime you can get on Firewalker in most activities in the game. When it comes to high-end PvE, Master and GM Nightfalls, Verdict is still out, I think there's definitely some potential but I also think that there are much better options for getting things done or options that help your team as opposed to only helping yourself. Hunters, we're going to cover your boots next since they have some pretty insane PvE capabilities that I'm excited to explore considering how stagnant your PvE exotics have been for a long time. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time.